there are two ways uh, you can install Laravel first one is using Laravel installer and second one is using composer so step uh, so method one using uh, Laravel installer it is uh, relatively faster than second method so I prefer using this one so you, uh, in order to do that you have to do is just uh, type this command on your terminal or command prompt okay just copy this and type in here so just copy paste this command and hit enter and it will install the laravel installer i've already done it so i will not do that second after you have done that add that installer to your path so in windows machine what you can do is after you install this okay so i've already done that so type where laravel it will give you path where that installer is installed so uh, this is the path in my windows machine uh, similarly you can find path in your mac also so just add this path to your system so just just copy this copy and go to your computer so this pc properties advanced system settings environment variables so here you can edit your path so here is path and click on edit and you can add another path okay uh, click on new and paste that path okay just paste that up to the bin okay so uh, you don't need to try copy all this okay just copy up to the bin and you are good to go so now the path is added so hit ok okay and okay so now you can use laravel okay so laravel you can check wh check whether that is installed or not by typing laravel dash v it will uh, tell you the give you the version of laravel so laravel install version this one okay so in order to install after that uh, to install laravel just type in uh, laravel new and name of your project okay whatever you want to call that okay app or whatever okay lara app so this will create the okay one thing uh, so before sorry before doing that you have to go to the directory where you want to install so for example uh, i cannot install here so you can go to your uh, whichever directory directory okay so cd into that i i use git pass so i just right click on the www folder okay and git pass here so now you can uh, type laravel new and the name of app okay so it will create the application for you um, so another way is uh, to just copy and paste this and this will create the app so just replace this block with name of the app you want to create so that's how you install the laravel okay 
so in order to run laravel you need server okay you can use the laravel home state i have another video where i discuss how to install laravel home state so for so the easy uh, easiest way is to install wamp okay so you can you can install wamp in windows mamp okay and lamp for uh, mac and linux so just uh, go and search for wamp if you are a windows user and download that okay so wamp download so download the latest version here okay by clicking here and you can download directly by clicking this link or if you don't have these installed okay so microsoft these uh, visual studio okay these type of stuff you can install this first and then down download directly okay so just download directly and install that i've already that running okay so so after that uh, so that is generally installed in this your c drive ymc64 so double click that and here is www folder that is uh, your server where every file is, is stored so i prefer you create the link here in favorite uh, so sorry quick access okay just and pin to quick access okay so then drop i've already created so i'll not do that so this is where all of your project will go okay so so in order to install the new app uh, you can go to here and right click and git bash here okay so you can install git bash also if you prefer using command prompt okay that's okay in mac and linux terminal is okay so as i've already told you now you can create your project here okay laravel new or composer required app okay whatever you want to create so so this is how you install new project in laravel okay so if that didn't work uh, you can just make sure that so it is generally you got this 5.6 okay otherwise you can just switch to 7 after you have installed that and run run that WAMP you can click here and PHP version so here is 5.6.16 and uh, or 7 okay so just uh, click on 7 okay uh, also what you need to do is just check uh, whether this is activated or not so you can check that by going to apache and sorry apache no php uh, extensions so check that uh, open ssl okay so uh, that is activated in mine so open ssl yeah this is checked so I'm good to go with that. Similarly, PSP PDO is also okay. Okay, so similarly check for these also. I hope this is yeah, this is by default activated. I guess okay. If that some problem, you can comment down, and there might be something someone who can help you, or I will get back to you. So this is how you install Laravel with WAMP so after Laravel and uh, WAMP is installed uh, uh, run the WAMP okay so wait for it to turn green like this okay so go to browser and this is our, our Laravel app called web app so in order to open that type local host slash web app slash public okay so if you uh, go to this url okay if you see something like this uh, laravel is installed okay 
so it is slightly um, not that convenient to type this URL every time so uh, we make this URL pretty yeah, in order to do that in WAMP uh, you have to go to C, uh, your C drive uh, where you have installed your WAMP okay uh, go to bin Apache Apache and here you have to go to conf okay and open this httpd conf uh, I'll open with notepad uh, so in this file search for uh, virtual hosts okay like this type in control F and search for virtual hosts okay uh, this this will be generally in uh, line 518 so in your case this line may be like this okay this is commented so what you have to do is uncomment this remove the uh, hashtag from this line okay so now uh, this will include the this file from this directly directory config extra and this okay so now save this uh, so now uh, we need to go to this uh, uh, directory okay so we were here we open this file now what uh, you do is just go to this extra and open this httpd virtual dot config so it says like this okay so open this on notepad so uh, here add another file so in your case this will be like this okay like this just just copy this copy and paste below this these are all my URL okay so in your case this might be like this you just need this document root and server name okay uh, you can remove these two if you want okay so here yeah, document root and server name document root is where our this app is stored so now uh, go to www where you install this okay so this is the URL where we stored that okay so just make uh, config this WAM 64 www and what is the name of that web app okay so this is just url to this path c wham www web app okay so web app and public also because our site is inside this public folder okay index dot uh, you don't need to use index.php so this is the document root where our document is located and you can give server name whatever you want okay i'm gonna give web app dot dv or app whatever you want to keep okay so now our virtual host is configured and one last thing you have to do is open the hosts file so in windows that is inside uh, i think yeah windows system 32 uh, drivers uh, etc yeah here it is host file this one open this with notepad okay uh, this is important open with not notepad okay it will make easier so here you have to add that URL what you have just added in your BIOS file just copy any one of these and replace this with your web app dot dev so this must be like what you have did here sorry here okay web app dot app web app dot app 
so save this it will ask you to open with administrator yes okay so save that so after doing that restart your WAMP and just left click this and restart all services wait for it to turn green so after you restart uh, your WAMP, uh, go to browser and type in web app dot app I think or dev. Yeah, web app dot app. So if you go to this URL, uh, you have shortened the URL. Okay, so this will be a lot easier than typing localhost WAMP public or, or whatever that is. Okay. So this is how you make your URL like this. So that's all for this video. Bye.